Good afternoon and welcome to the end of day review for today. And uh, today is Thursday, so the fourth trading day of this week, and it's the day just before Friday, which is uh, the end of the week right there. We have very interesting movement, I mean, a very huge move today. We will get into the chart later. But yesterday, after the NVIDIA earning, the market really, um, really uh, volatile. At first, it dropped and it, it rallied back. And also, today we saw like ICT profile uh, play out, which is Thursday is a reversal day. Yes, Thursday is reversal, so it's, it's make the high of the week and then it reverse right away. That's the beauty right there. We are in um, week 21. I think yesterday we misspoke, we said week 22. Week 21, so five more weeks, we're going to finish uh, the second, the second um, quarter of this year. I think we did uh, talking about a quarter scenario. Oh, yeah, beauty right there. That's the month, the month right there. Boom, maybe. Where the quarter that we come up with the idea? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hmm. Maybe at that level, we don't know. Yeah, here's the, the quarter that we're talking about, the scenario. We want it to close. You see that? It, it's still valid right there. This scenario is still valid. Uh, so, we have you know, we have still five more weeks. It may go and be test level again, but we would love to see the close above play level and then the, the next quarter, that way, yeah, next quarter gonna be like this and the last quarter of the year gonna be boom. Let me get a scenario can play out in terms of quarter and, and week right there. All right, uh, and this week uh, we don't have, uh, yeah, option exploration day. But uh, next week we expect uh, GDP data released at Thursday, every month Thursday, the last Thursday of, of, of the month. So we just GDP right there, next Thursday right there. That can be a Medium to high induction yield right there, especially very sensitive. It used to be just medium, but now it's very sens sensitive. Uh, sensitive in the sense that um, in the sense that it um, it will impact the decision that Fed gonna make a cut or not, right? If they saw if they see the economy tanking, they they may step in and cut the rate. So that can be a factor right there in the decision. And then after that, we watch to see the non-farm payroll. And then uh, we're gonna go back to CBI again. By the way, the, today a jobs, you know, job like claim, which is different, right? Job like un unemployment. But a non-farm payroll is about a job created, how many jobs were created. So it's a little different right there. We, we uh, usually get confused, um, but that's the, the different that we want to point out. So current actual census. So is is the job claims less than expected? And then we have fact meeting as is. So that's uh, that is all you know. The e economic event or calendar we go through. So we do that routine. Every time we do review, we do that. So we're going to keep our mind in a bigger perspective. 
so we know what what make the market move what 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 move we're gonna anticipate because you know the market move by the, the news especially the economics news right so that's that's our job at the day trader we're gonna catch the move and what make the market move is the economic events drive the markets right there so that's the logic behind it all right now go to the chart for today yeah here's the chart um but f let's first look at the the daily so we can have some idea all right here's our daily chart right here so basically after the huge move last wednesday then um, we start see the retracement 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 and then all this still retracement and then um, today is a huge retracement you can call it retracement turn into reversal right here but let's see let's see it's still you know if we look at this picture from here it is still a a uptrend uh, right there so it, it, it basically it closed the gap you see exactly it is closed the gap right there let's find uh, what is I can move this one. Let's find uh, what is the level right here. This gap. Uh, the high of this is 52.74.25. And this one is daily so we go with that color daily right we go with that color yeah so 25 and this one is 73 wow low the high of this 7425 and this one low 73 50 so yeah it feel that gap so to feel the gap one thing very very interesting yesterday we saw that this one is um, we can say that the retracement whether the retracement gonna finish in order to make a light down right we want to really clear out the sell side of pretty but yesterday we we see that if one peep up above, now we can see that this is a really short shelf for such Thursday reversal right there. Look look right here. We saw that, and today is really you know uh, really validate what we suspect. You know, yesterday we we feel very uh, very strange why it not rate this cell side of wave which is the low right here being in order for a retracement finish it had to rate and we wonder what why not rating and that's that's the reason the reason is because it left it there in order today if we sweep that aggressive today is sweep or it run that degree right there what the low of this is fifty three oh five seventy five oh five seventy five right there and this one is fifty you see that we remember exactly the low of this wow no this is thirty six seventy five the low of this thirty five seventy five so it's one point above you see so that means that it keep us a signal right there that it's gonna come down wrap the quarterly and it did 
So you see the gap up right here, and maybe they're gonna create a gap down right there. This model is gonna be a gap down. And right here is equal high. Very interesting right there. It may go down to six level. Friday, right? Friday maybe. So basically we see today that a Thursday reversal but I see profile and the one we suspect yesterday that we see that okay this retracement is not not finished not ending yet because the south side of is, is not rated it's to leave it, you know untouched and today it really run through right there and also another thing you see right here whenever we see it test from above one two three so there's no reason for it to come back here and touch level the only reason to come back and touch the level is to break it right but when we go down to um you know the whole morning we i think well you talk yeah, the whole morning we, we, we have other things to do. We don't uh, sit in the front of the computer. We just let the recording uh, running. But when we come back home, we see this. Uh, but we kind of reluctant to check this trade. But today we can see it's beautiful. Um, you see, you know why right here? We see this pattern before. We see that yesterday, exactly. Look, I mean... It's, it's every day the, the, the markets give the, the signal just for right here. What do you see at this level? Right, you see it's um, this level or maybe better at this level. That's from above. This level also test from below. You know, if, if you look at that level, it's, it break. That's from below. There is right here you see the reversal right away and then right here you see reversal right, right away that where you want that where we know that it's gonna be a second leg down right there yeah but basically if you look on the daily daily uh level then it's still perfect to put a sell stop right here you know the the reason we cut uh, you know reluctance because we said well we want to be a perfect entry but you don't you know oh yeah it's a huge move for a year but you know what let it break a level it still go down here you you still have a huge move down here don't be greedy I mean well 48 point what are you talking about yeah we kept we say right here we say oh a little bit late so but if you look on the daily, it's not late at all. It's still the huge move, but it's not late. So that is, uh, you know, uh, the related between the daily level and the 50 minute right there. So we can still go here and and, um, and short right here to go here and short it. Yep, short it right there. We have to put the cell stop right here when it breaks down here. The cell stop right there. We still have the heel move right there. Okay, let's say that we would have wide, widened stop loss right here. 15 point stop loss. But if you let it run, it's still one to three reach ratio right there. 1547 right there's one to three reach ratio right there. So it's still worth it right there. Uh, but anyway yeah let let do um check green sign of this. We see that right we see it before you break it and then you see that it tests above one two three term so why come back here only to come back here is to what <laughs> to break the level so we have to patient wait 
you wait from the last Friday, Friday, no, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and boom, Thursday, you have a hip move like that. I have to build you full of, of you know, patient and waiting. Okay, let let take this screen shot real quick, and then we can uh, move on to the next topic. But we just try to bring to attention that you can view the daily high time frame at a level trade when you see this card set up right there. That is the signature that. Uh, we see every day, right? We see break, test from above. So right here, we can say is a big the level right here. The level is fifty three. Is that fifty three? This is the mon uh, monthly level. That right is the monthly level. Yeah, yeah, weekly, weekly, weekly level. Yeah, by the way, here's, here's the weekly we see. Weekly level right there. Perfect, wow. Whoa, now we see. Weekly right there. Break it, break it back right away. That can give us some idea right here. But anyway, let let uh that make some annotation documentation right here so we say it's full breakdown all right it's a real pro for breakdown um, hmm So we have four break out. Four break out at uh, 53, 37. No, no, no. 53, 22, 75. We do have what? A break. And then we have retest. Um, and this case is a first retracement or first leg retracement or reversal, right? For like. Yeah, okay, for like down. Yeah. Or you can call it a uh, reversal. For like down. Yeah. Retest in this case uh, from above. And we have Twitter. Man, now we know this. We see it everywhere. Next time, we will pull the trigger. And we get, we will get the um, the profits that we uh, we love. We extract the market, the money from the market, if for lack of a better word, right there. And then you have reverse. Yes, that's the signature of a four breakout right there. But if I real break out, then you're gonna see it's gonna be reverse. You have a break and reverse back right away. Like you see right here. Right, break, reverse back right away. That is the uh, second leg down. Right? That the real break out right there. But this one is four break out. Okay, so we put right here. Be back. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, just one, two, three radar, A, B, C, C, that right, very clear right there. It cannot be, <laughs> can, cannot be, you know, clearer than this, right? It cannot be clearer than this. It cannot be uh, simpler than this. It's, it's very simple right there, which is A, B, C. Three step right there. Beautiful right there. What else we could have? Yes, perfect. But anyway, we're still in the uptrend because you see that it's still above the 20 day moving average. So we can count this at a uh, foot light down reversal or it can be a, just a retracement. Okay, so we have a uh, leg up right here. Oh, no, not a break. Let's draw it again. So we have break. And then you have a uh, re, you have free test from above one time. And then you have another retest from above. And then you have uh, And then you have all right. First, we have break right there. We have to do this exercise many times, many times until it become our second nature. Right now, we may say it's after the facts, it's called back test, right? What we do so many times is it become our second nature and keep give a time for our subconscious mind learn it and when it learn it we're done. It becomes our second nature. <laughs> then we we're done. We become a a machine. Whenever we see the tree up uh, the setup we pull a trigger. No question asked. That's is the state that so-called trade in the zone right there or go in the flow right there we, we no longer think then we reach so-called don't think stay it's, it's just it's just second nature no no longer we don't have to think in it at all this is a retest from above and, and this time is three times and, and you see that if it tests from above three times, remember the more time it tests, uh, the explosive for the um, for the next move, which is the expensive move right here, uh, the reverse move right there. It's gonna be and look at today, yeah man. See that huge, huge, unbelievable forty eight point something. Really, it's like uh, plus the flood in way there. I think ICT have a term called low resistance liquidity run. <laughs> a little bit tweak our term when we try to say for a time. Low resistance liquidity run. So basically, it's, 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 it's flush right there. If we catch that move, then we can retire early. Retire early, that's what the people call retirely but anyway we're on our way we on our way right there and that's you can see that this setup is really manifest itself in in our today right there boom break it that work and then boom yep <clears throat> Yes, so we will save this one and we will call this one is uh, call is I think is a four breakout. In this case, it's gonna be first leg down, or you can call it a retracement. We yeah, are first leg down for retracement. 
I, for a retracement, if you can see that it's a retracement, or it's a reversal, right? It's for let off retracement or it's a reversal. The reason why we call it both, because we don't know. We know that it's, 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 it's the retracement, for sure. And right now, it's for like a retracement. Will it turn into a reversal? We don't know. It can be, could be the next couple of days, it's, it turns to reversal, fully reversal right there. I think let's go back to the ICT. Uh, uh, price delivery. Right, that's price delivery. Mechanism. Yeah, model. Or right yeah, it's the, the concept right there. So start with consolidation and then expansion and then it goes to retracement. And right now we believe that it's the retracement right there. And the retracement can turn fully into reversal. Right there. Or it's retracement and turn to reversal. Either way. And then uh, from retracement, uh, it will turn to uh, consolidation again. I think I should say that it, the brand never go from uh, consolidation to retracement or reversal. Uh, it will never go that direction. It has to go to this direction. That's the whole idea. So you see that the hue move right here. So we can, can still consider this. It's just a first leg down for the retracement. It could be turned into reversal. So that's that an idea. So it's first leg down, for break out. Yep. So that's right there. Let's take it out. Okay. So now we go back to here. We're gonna see a uh, a furniture that you know a very very um, distinguished. Just look at here. Here's the one we saw yesterday, right? Uh, twenty May, twenty second, which is yesterday, a uh, Wednesday, and you see that pretty much the same setup. It break it first, reverse it back right away. You see that? And test from above twice. And then break it. And then look at this, the reverse back. I think we did analyze this. Let, let's take to see. We still have this. Uh, All right, perfect. We found uh, the one that it happened yesterday and we did do a review yesterday and, and we found it from our our database so basically you see the signature right here whenever we see the break you see the reversal right away you have to have a setup form in mind that looking for a second leg down and then you have three tests from above twice and then you have break. Normally, you know, this break can fall through. That's what you want, you want to see. However, if for some reason it go back, reverse back, then you're going to put all your money because the, the next leg down is going to be explosive. <laughs> we put right there, reverse right there. It will trip at a Barris auto block right there. That's the ICC term right there. At first we follow ICC, we we're not sure about auto block. We thought every you know <laughs> every up close candle is a, a potential. I mean it's right, it's, it's every up close candle every upload candle is a potential a bearish auto block and vice versa. Every Dow close candle is going to be a bullish order block. However, from this day onward, we know when it's going to be a real, real order block, a very, very uh, high quality order block, like this one. 
this is a real order block right there. You're gonna put your all your money in and you're gonna get a huge profit right there. So go back to the idea that we say that, right? Whenever you see a level break and it's break break it back right away, then automatically we have to prepare ourselves to short that because the second leg down gonna 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 happen. Yeah, so you have break and reverse back right away. If you have break and test, you know, retest from below, then that could be a different story right there. Uh, that can be a um, a fall breakout, but in this case, it's gonna be a real breakout to the downside uh, right there. So it's a beautiful picture that uh, we pen or on the market pen, and we, we saw it, we recognize it. Same right here. Look at this picture right here. What do we see? Uh, yeah, right here we see. It's a one hour time frame. But we see the same. Right here, it break the level. This is the key level we saw also earlier on the daily time frame. Right? On the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we saw that. Uh, right there. With the lead level. Alright, we see break the level, break it back right away. Reverses. Right. That's where uh, our mind have to uh, looking for the second leg down. You see, very similar. I mean, we would say that maybe it's not exactly, but very similar. If we can decode this. And become our second nature, then we can retire early right there. <laughs> Is that right away? And then what? You see the retest from above right there, and see it break again. Break again. You see that? That's where you see it break again. And then uh, what happened next? Okay, so we two level 40 right here. So how do we do the right level over right here that makes sure that yeah, play a little bit different. You can do the level or you can do the level right here. Uh, this one is 56, 25 something. So you can see the pattern um, better. You can do it level, the high time frame, but the idea is the same. You have to retest, and as you break it, reverse back right away. Then where you can put, um, you know, all the money in right there. And let's let's go with it level. Let's make it uh, a little bit sharper, so we can we can see. We can see right there. Right, that's where we want to see, right? And that's analog. Uh, that's analog thesis. Okay, let's do this level for the purpose of uh, back testings. Fifty-three, thirty-six, fifty. Yeah, a little bit hard right here to see, uh, but you can do it level if, if you want to. Basically, it tests above for level. All you can see right here, it still tests above the level. Yeah. Let let um, remove this level. But you got an idea. You can see with this level, you can see the test from a bus more, uh, much more clear, clear. You know, much clearer than this level. Actually, it, this one is you know, open just above that. So we can consider like the test above right there. Uh, but for the purpose of uh, you know um, analyzing, want to make it more clear. But you you you've got an idea. So that's the second leg down idea. In the Nasdaq, the 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 formation the formation of setup much more clear than in the, the S and P's. It's perfect, you know, and the Nasdaq is perfect uh, forming. Uh, let's look at the NASDAQ. Yeah, right here. 
we did see uh, the Nasdaq right here. You see, it's much clearer. You see that? It break, we test from below and break it back and test from above, break it and then reverses. Boom! It much clearer than than the um, than an S and D. You know, this candle on the Nasdaq. That's where it comes. If this candle come down a little bit down here, then we have a perfect set of like the Nasdaq, but here we don't. So this level should be uh, good enough. But hold on, I think let's let's use this level. We still see it. So you break it. That's from below. Break it back right here. You can, you know, you can. Even though it close, it's close, right now, but you can consider it as a break it back right there. And you know what happened? Test from above. Break it back. And then you have uh, reverse, and then boom. Uh, you have uh, now you have break and reverse, and then it's break. So that's similar to here. You see that the same, the last three move break, reverse, and then boom. Uh, second leg down, exactly here. See that? Break, reverse, and then second leg down. And that's the move before that's you know similar. You see that? A huge break, reverse quickly, act like it's gonna reversal. That's where all people put money, go along, and boom. The flush out, all the people go along right there. So let's see we how we gonna do this one. So, are we going to use the one hour time frame? It's a question, you one hour time frame. But let's take this quiz out real quick and then we can see right here. 30, exactly 12.30. 12.30 is one of the critical time. Sometimes it comes out at uh, 1 p.m., but sometimes mm. it go early at. Um, at 12.30 so let's see so what do we want to say right here alright I think let's go back to retake the green shot with this level it's much easier to to analyze and and see right to this level we have break test from above then it's gonna be uh, reverse that is the the four breakout to the upside, which is a real breakout to the outside. That's what we want. However, we have one more step, which is reverse, reverse back right away, which it lever to. Uh, to the second leg now. Right, normally you want it to be uh, breaking down, but if it reverse back away, then the second leg down is going to go shape right there. So how do we reconcile this? All right, here's what we come up so far. So you see it break, and then you have retest from above, and then it reverse, and then it break the second time then you know that um, it's a second leg down. Basically, whenever we see a reverse back right away, that will be signal to us that it's gonna be a second leg down. All right, I think we wrapped it up. Let's look to see what trade we take for today. But like we said earlier, we, um, we skipped almost the whole morning, so we just wait, wait to see when reversal happen, and right here we thought the reversal gonna happen here. We engage right here, and then yeah, let's let's take a look at the tree. And today we learned that it's the reversal, uh, yeah, Thursday reversal. So let's look at a quick tray, uh the recording we have. All right, I took a look at the first trade, you know, we check, right, we take right there. 
So our idea is right here. Let's see. We have a trade idea right here. Right when we see this, we thinking to ourselves right there. So we put a buy stop in at fifty. To a four. Let, let's see why we choose that fifty two eighty four. Fifty two eighty. Yeah, right here. So basically, we say all right. Fifty two eighty four. Right here. Uh, the low of this. Fifty two eighty four twenty five. Twenty five, that's right. So basically we say wow well, it it, it um, break the level but break not really huge. Uh, then we bet on the um, you know reverse back right away. Basically, we want to cast a quick, quick trade right there, but that is the mistake we make, the deadly mistake. Well, if you want to quit, then as soon as you get profit, you gotta get get out. But we forgot, we forgot our premise how we get in the trade. Our premise to get in the trade that we want to cast a quick reverse right here and get out. But when we get in, we forgot to get out. Why we forgot? Because we let the, the profits, it's really the greedy, we let the greedy take over us, said look, we just have a simple idea, right? You trade, plus five, perfect. You have a trade idea, then do it and follow that trade idea. <laughs> right, we want to cast a quick reverse right here, that's our idea. It did, it reversed back quick for us, we put in uh the buy stop at that level it did it did to look it did it get it did get our on the view and it did give us a quick reverse quick reverse that what we expect quick reverse quick reverse come back here uh, slow slow down a little bit right there it give us a very quick reverse and we should check our profit and run you know Two thousand and and three hundred is huge profit right there. Quick reverse, right? Quick drop. Exactly happened right there. But we let our rig control and we stay in a trade too long, and we paid a huge price. See that? We paid a huge price. Huge price right there. And that's why we say okay. It tests from below that level, maybe this time it's gonna what? <laughs> it's gonna break it. But it's not too soon. It's not too soon. You're right, it may break it, but not this time. But the issue that are we still happy? You know, the bullets or, uh, you know, emulsion, right? And maybe, you know, bullets. Yeah, that issue, uh, we run out of bullets or ammo in order to wait for the market to, you know, break that level when the retest. Yeah, it's a little bit careful. So we have a dry, a dry idea, but we, um, we let the greedy, you see that from 2,300 profit, we turn into a loss. <laughs> 3,000, just right there, you see. The mentor is so key. Well, you have right actual idea, then execute that to the target, right? Um, we put the target up here a little bit um, too much because um, look at the charts. We thought that, you know what? It retests the level. It may go to the level. Yes, that is the... Uh, um, you know mentality when we when we say in the trade we say wow let wait you see if if it hit these targets but buddy 
that's not it gonna hit uh, that target at this time it might it might you see that it may hit at this uh, you wait for another hour it will hit <laughs> but we run out of ammo or we run out of time we, we, we will not stick here the whole, whole day so the best strategy is when it go up there to take it right because you 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 want to get a quick right here because you don't know when the market gonna stop um, you know falling like right? cast falling night right there so you have a right to idea but um, you stay in the trade too long that's that's not even though you say test from below but it's not gonna come back to that level anytime soon so that's the first try we take right there and we um, we make mistake but it's 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 it, the lesson we learn is it's more more value and 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 we're testing our our idea so it's okay to make mistake but we learn we don't want to make the same mistakes uh, every time okay now takes the look at the last two trade we take and so we can drop up here I see the last two trade we take so after we had a huge <laughs> you um you lost this time which a wow wow it's uh you know all the block right here right break the level and they're gonna reverse <laughs> so we jumping we tie we you know we get we ten ten lot right there and come on buddy <laughs> that is the signature of so called event trade right there so as soon as we see our loss, we gonna jump in and say, "Well, every time now it's gonna be a reversal. You gotta fear missing out. But you gotta gotta get back." And, and I think the second trade we take is is a a formal trade right there. Uh, but no doubt we keep practicing. We have flushes. We have to flush all that emotion out our system in order to be become a better trade. We have to. That's the process we have to go through. So no shame, no give right there. Uh, it's just a a, a uh, project we have to go through. See that it's tough around the way. <laughs> but then this, we spoke to go in right here, not this one. You have to let this one so called. That's a formal right. We have to this one form because it's gonna what what test from below. That where you're gonna have a. I set up you have to like this that's one flow and so we, right here is the perfect candle to go in perfect that's fine but if you wait patient more then this going gonna be more perfect because you know what um, after retest from below twice that's where you have a setup so after we fell this trade we have to wait for test from below we jump in too early uh, that's the reason when you have the form test from below then you have a legitimate reason to go in otherwise it's formal and we did we did formal on the on the second trade uh, low is 7825 7825 right there first five after this we can go in right here and, and we did and the third trade we go in right we go in right there because that's no reason to come back and you see that we go in with 15 actually we go in 10 look right here we go in 10 you see we go in initially we go 10 <laughs> all right we tried to hit 20 but um our max side only 15 so that's why uh we see that we add you know five more okay that's five look look and <laughs> we scratch our heads right there we said hmm what's going on why would the minute the moment we put increase side it go again so we, so we seek through this right you know we have to sit through the pen because you, you're going to get the profits you have to sit through the 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 loss that's that is a nature again in order to have bigger pleasure you have to go through all the pain and it is look at that 
It's beautiful to see that uh, we trust ourselves. That beautiful one right there. Don't get panicked. You have to trust yourself. See that? Man, this tray is so long. You see that? Uh, how long we have to sit there? Almost 40 minutes right there. 50 minutes to see a successful tray. And we get nervous right here. Say, so, wow. We almost keep all our gang back. You see that? You see that? Oh, man. At one point, right, we go up to 4,000. And now we give back all of them. You know, almost half of that. And we doubt ourselves. But anyway, we trust ourselves. We continue to do that. And you see, boom. Wow. Out. And you got it. All right. That's it for today. It's, we take a very high risk trade right there because we bet on a very low rent target. When you aim a low rent target, you have to take quick profits. You increase your size, but at the same time, you have to take quick profits. We learn ourselves. We test ourselves. We have an idea and we test ourselves and we trust ourselves and we pay off. Oh, we're lucky for that matter. It doesn't matter, right? Uh, trade is, is just 50 50 percent. You have to manage your risk and and, and 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 take profit when you need it. Anyway, is uh, we run out of time. We are grateful for your time and interest. Uh, we are always thankful for these opportunities, and uh, we do what we love and discussing. Come our way. Bye for now, and have a great evening. And uh, good luck and good trading. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.